Good morning, y'all. So it's about half past 11. I'm just lazing about. Um, have actually been, I have been showered. I am showered and dressed. I've just put a dressing gown on top. Um, there's loads of people out here. Honestly, it's busier than ever. People are smiling at me because I'm sat in the window filming myself. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm just going to do some housework and I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese for tea in the slow cooker. So I'm going to get started with that. Hello, girl. What are you looking at? We're just watching the world go by, aren't we, my baby? We're watching the world go by. Oh, oh. Matt's still in bed. I think he's awake because I think I could hear his telly or phone or something going. So, yeah, but he's just lazing in bed. Do some housework and cooking. You want to do some cooking? Yeah? You look a little bit confused. Are you confused? So I'm out with the dog now. Sorry if it's a bit windy, I'll try and speak up. Um, definitely gone cook. Stop it. Just eating sheep poo. Um, definitely gone cooler. And I think I felt some raindrops as well. Um, yeah, just out with the dog. Um, we've decided that we're going to do like we did the other day. I'll take her for a bit of a walk now. Um, and then Matt's going to take her for a bigger walk later. And I'll let the birds out and clean their cage. So. I think that is, well that is what's happening today, so yeah I've made, um, got tea ready for tonight so that's cooking in the slow cooker, um, also uh, we've got to make the, stop eating your sheep poo, we've got to make the cheesecake today but Matt's decided he doesn't really want to do it today but he'll do it tomorrow so we'll see, we'll see if he doesn't do it tomorrow I'll have to do it anyway because of the strawberries so Gosh, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I think it's the wind, it takes your breath sometimes, doesn't it? Oh, look at them hills over there. Can you, mm, I don't think it comes across, but the sun is shining on those hills. Beautiful. Well, that is our little walk done. Nesca did not want to come home. She's, I think she's missing a mate, bless her. I was on um, FaceTime, I FaceTime my dad while I was out walking. Um, and then like mum came on as well and mum like shouted Nesca and oh Nesca got so excited and she was like looking for her oh it's so sad I think she's really missing her um or uh, you know definitely missing her her mates Jana and Ollie so I feel that sorry for her to put today she's been a little monster today I think she's just like getting bored um she's chewed on here I don't know like this leather edge in here she's chewed it all off booming when I came down um not that she can you don't care do you you don't care um so that's really annoying she's she's just chewing stuff that she shouldn't be chewing I need to do some like um um what do they call it like what do they call it I want to say like brain training what do I mean you know what I mean like activities with your dog um I think that's probably what she needs um I've got like she's got things like Kong and um puzzle things, but um yeah, maybe she needs a bit more active interaction. I don't know. Um there's bees about, isn't there? Have you seen there's some bloody big bees and there was one in the house today that she got, unfortunately, and there was one on the walk that she got, so I'm really sorry, the dying bee population is probably Nesca's fault, to be honest. So, yeah, don't come in here, bees. Don't come in here. I tried to warn you. I tried to warn that one that came in today. Oh, she just nearly fell off there. Oh, Nesca. 
Don't you break yet another TV. <laughs> She's got it. She's climbing up there. She went to like lie down on the TV unit, which she does sometimes. And her leg like slipped behind her. That could have been... Don't go having accidents now, because there's no vets open. Right, I've got to go and bring the washing in, because it's um started spitting a little bit while I was out on the walk. It's gone chilly as well, so... Anyway, it's been quite windy, so hopefully that should be dry. If not, it should be near dry. Where's my slippers? I don't know. Put mats on. Right. And then I've got to carry on cleaning up the kitchen. I've got quite a lot of cardboard recycling down there. But I don't know what's happening with... I'm guessing you can't go to recycling centres. And I um, don't know what's happening with the... No, I'll probably just put it in my car, to be honest. So, the one job I have asked of Matthew today is to put this and this in the shed. I asked him that about, I'm gonna say I asked him that about half 12, one o'clock, it's now 10 past three. Let's see how long it takes for him to actually put these things in the shed and how many more times I have to ask him. To be fair, I've only asked him once. In a minute, I'm gonna ask him again. Gosh, I look a stir today. Right, it's five o'clock. I've done all my housework. I actually like properly did everything today hoovered mopped everything um that feels better because for the last few days i've just been doing the bare minimum just because i keep thinking like oh, i'm gonna put it off um for a day when i'm really bored um but anyway i feel much better now that that's all done i feel like i've been productive Whew, i'm quite worn out actually right it's like i said it's four o'clock i'm just gonna have some pit of bread and hummus now i am quite hungry but um Tea's got to be ready about seven o'clock, so um, I'm gonna have to eat something now. So I'm gonna have that, and yeah, just eat that and watch TV. <laughs> I think Matt's gonna take the dog out about um, well, I don't know, I'm gonna have tea at seven, so I think he's wanting to go after that. Um, so I don't know when that'll be. These are here still. The time is now 25 past five. I've just reminded Matthew that he hasn't taken them to the shed and he said, I'll do it in a sec. So we'll, we'll see. Hey Matt, yeah? while you're downstairs, why don't you just go out to the shed? Yeah. What? What? Did you say something? I said yeah. Oh, I thought you said something else. Huh? I thought you, I thought you said something else. He went, oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna go for, oh he is, he's actually going outside. I'm going for a lovely big bubble bath. There's about half a thing of bubbles in there because why not, the time is now 10 to six. Do you know what I used to love, love, love being in the bath? Oh, I have got one. I used to love reading trashy magazines in the bath and I used to keep them all in this drawer and I had like a whole drawer full of just trashy mags um, so this one is from 2019 um, I don't know if I've read all the stories but I might just have a look through that while I'm in the bath and that is tea served we're having spaghetti bolognese and garlic bread let's wait for Matt to come down here he has set up his computer today so I think he's got quite involved in that i'm kind of glad that he's like got something to get involved in because he was just feeling like really fed up um so it's not often that you like pushing your children towards gaming but i think at this time if it helps it helps just want him to have something to do what do you want knife and fork or fork and spoon, uh, spoon did you set your computer up been updated for ages. Oh, it's not actually working yet. Yeah. Right, there's your tea, my love. 